I believe she's a gold digger, as they've said all along. That was far and away the majority opinion tonight among some 25 people I interviewed at South Miami Sports Rock Cafe. The majority, of course, doesn't make the opinion valid, but it may say something about media's ability, inadvertent as it may be, to form public images. It's obvious that she married him for his money, and now she's filing for divorce, and she's going to collect. We met only two people who sympathized with Robin Gibbons. If it's true that, she, that he is abusing her, yes, they are, because no one should have to put up with that. If Mike Tyson is totally not the perfect husband, so therefore she should file for divorce. Mike Tyson as a boxer may be the most ferocious heavyweight of modern times, but he is still barely beyond a teenager. His age and inexperience was considered by many we talked with. Thinking about being 22, uh, you're just learning about yourself at that age, and it's hard to deal with all that press and all that wealth. I mean, it's got to be tough. Psychiatrist Dr. Edmund Kava hasn't followed the Tyson Gibbon soap opera closely, but he noted tonight a trend he sees in our society that may be applicable. Our country has become increasingly obsessed with accumulation of, accumulation of wealth and that uh, it's become an overriding uh, drive, an overriding direction for a large part of our population. And uh, it's even become an important, perhaps one of the most important factors in the pursuit of a mate. You know, not so much what kind of rapport, what kind of personal gratification is going to come from this, but what kind of material indulgences, what kind of security am I linking up to?